Hello, dear students. Let's see gate 2014 question on conflict serializability. Now we are given three transactions T1, T2, and T3. So the schedule contains three transactions. Concurrent schedule contains three transactions. And we are given two schedules S1 and S2 which which contain these three transactions. Now the three transactions have been given. Please try to understand this T1. T1 transaction. How is it written? R1x, R1z, W1x and W1z. What it means is this T1 is executing read x instruction. X is a data item. And why that one subscript has been written? Why this R1 has been written? R1x? Because it is read operation conducted by T1, transaction 1. But when we will write it in tabular form, please try to understand, we need not write R1 because we are anyway writing it below T1. So we will simply say Rx this way. What is the other operation you watch? After, after read x, it is read z, write x, write z. Who, do, who is doing this? T1. So these are the instructions read z, write x, and write z. Similar thing can be written about T2 and T3. I am not writing those schedules, uh, sorry, the transactions, but you can now understand. Now let's talk about the schedules given. See the two schedules are S1 and S2. Correct? S1 and S2. Just see how you can view this S1. This is S1 schedule. Now there are three transactions you know T1, T2, T3. Okay, how will you show them? See the first operation I am underlining here. On the left side r1x so r1 means it is conducted by t t1 isn't it first transaction so rx now what is the next operation see i am underlining in the schedule r3y that means t3 is conducting read y see how t1 has got preempted it is concurrent schedule isn't it and t3 is performing read y after that there is r3x observe in S1. So R3 means it is conducted by T3. So Rx. After that, there is R2y. R2y. That means T3 is getting preempted and we are we are at transaction T2, which is conducting read y. I hope you are understanding how this uh, schedule can be read and represented in the tabular form. Because once we represent it in the tabular form, it will be easy to do analysis of the schedule. Okay, same way, I, I, am not, I am not writing this entire schedule in the tabular form. We will do that while solving the problem. But same way S2, the another schedule which comprises the same transactions T1, T2, T3 is also shown. And now the question asked is, which of the following statements about the schedule is true? Only S1 is conflict serializable, S2 is conflict, only S2 is conflict serializable, both are conflict serializable, neither is conflict serializable. Okay, and now I hope you have understood and basically I am, I am sure that you, you will solve it on your own also without my help. But, but let, let me solve it and some more questions you will see such questions asked in gate regularly so let's see how we will solve let's check s1 now s1 is having t1 t2 t3 t4 four transactions the first operation is r1x so i'll write it as rx the second is r3y so i'll write it as ry in t3 ry then R3x, so Rx, then R2y, so in T2 there is Ry, 
then r2 z so r z in t2 after that w3 y so back to r t3 w3 uh, w y it is in transaction 3 w 2z so in transaction t2 it is wz okay back to transaction 1 so rz oh this is a very big question anyway and uh, w1z so that's wz here in transaction 1 and w1z again so oh i i did that right okay this was wx i'm so sorry wx this one this one wx and then wz so wz oh only three transactions yes i unnecessarily represented t4 okay so this this is the interlude uh, interlude thing done in uh, in this schedule and now uh, these are the interlude operations done now let's represent t1 t2 T3 as nodes. Look at the first instance instruction Rx. Now this will not conflict with anything in T3. Observe with anything in T3. Okay. But it will, it will definitely conflict with WZ in T2. Oh, I'm so sorry, not WZ. Now this is R, R read X, isn't it? And no other instruction is actually writing X. See, neither T2 is writing X, nor T3 is writing X. So at least this instruction does not conflict with any other operation. Let's continue with the next statement. The next statement is this, read Y. Read Y in the other, uh, other schedule, T1 and T2, from here, read Y will not conflict with anything because neither of T1 nor T2 is writing Y. Remember, read will only conflict with write on the same data item. Now the next instruction is read x in T3. And this will definitely conflict with this write x. You just check write x of T1. So this is T3 to T1. There is one conflict here. Correct? Any other? No, no other conflict. You can check it. There is no other conflict now. Okay. So what else? What else we have now? This read y you observe. What does this conflict with read y? Write y. And I think no other, no other operation conflicts with this. So this is t2 to t3 observe. Okay. The next operation you check is read z. And it conflicts with write z here. Here write z. Yes, so this is T2 to T1. T2 to T1. Okay. Now, now the next instruction that will execute, I'll just clean a few things. Wait a minute. After read Z, this, this line runs, write Y. And this doesn't conflict with any line. You can see no other transaction now is reading or writing Y. Okay. Good news is T3 is over now. Okay, let's go to this write Z. This will conflict with read Z. And this will conflict with write Z. But this is T2 to T1. And T2 to T1, the arrow has been already shown. Okay. The nice thing is now T2 is also over. And now, of course, only T1 is remaining. And what T1 will now conflict with? Because nothing is remaining in T2 or T3. So this is the graph that we get and clearly observe this graph does not have cycles. So definitely S1 is conflict serializable, that's for sure. But then is S2 also conflict serializable? So what is the another schedule S2 given? Let's find out. Okay, ready everyone. Now S2 can be shown in the tabular format. Let me make some space. Okay. Here is S2. Contains three transactions T1, T2, and T3. The first statement is R1x. So it will be Rx under T1. 
then it is r3y so under t3 that will be ry then r2y so uh, under t2 under t2 i'm so sorry for this under t2 it will be ry then r3x so under t3 it will be rx okay then r1z so under t1 it will be rz okay then r2z observe so under t2 it will be rz w3y so it will be w y under t3 yes w3 y then w1 x w2 z w1 x so w x and w2 z so w z under t2 and one more operation i think w1 z yes this one last one so it will be w z okay let's check uh, the, these are the places where the preemption is getting done okay these are the places of preemption fine uh, so t1 t2 t3 are the three transactions and note this read x will will not conflict with any operation in t2 and t3 observe although t3 has read x but read doesn't conflict with read and t2 neither t3 neither t2 nor t3 is writing x so there is no conflict as far as this operation is concerned okay what's the next this is read y check that read y also will not conflict with any other operation in t1 or t2 because none of this is writing y remember read can uh, conflict only with write okay so still no conflict next let's check this read y yes read y will conflict with write y here i'll just erase a few things check that read y will conflict with write y this one and this is t2 to t3 so i i will show an edge from t2 to t3 and that's it it will not conflict with any other statement in any other transaction so read y of t2 is done now it is read x yes this read x will conflict with write x of of t1 so it is t3 to t1 okay t3 to t1 edge has been shown next line next line is rz rz will definitely conflict in t2 with wz so this is t1 to t2 okay t1 to t2 edge has been shown from t1 to t2 that's it that's it that's it stop it stop it now stop it don't check the remaining schedule clearly this has a cycle this graph has has cycle check clearly t1 to t2 t2 to t3 and t3 back to t1 then s2 is not conflict serializable correct so the answer is only s1 is conflict serializable a is the answer i hope you are understanding this and how to check whether the schedule is conflict serializable let's meet in the next uh, video where we will solve some more gate questions thank you very much